Hi, welcome to MK Lone Star Handcraft It. This is Meredith, and today we are going to make the black raspberry and vanilla. And the colors that I'm going to be using are going to be the Crafter's Choice Jazzberry Red Mica and the Crafter's Choice Mystic Purple Moon Mica along with uh, some uh, titanium dioxide. I do the um, heat transfer method and so I'm going to pour my lye solution in. I use aloe vera juice with tussa silk, uh, sea salt, and sugar in my solution. And in here is my hard butters. So I'm going to get this melted down and once this is melted I will bring you all back and we will get this going. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm going um, in this bucket I have my soft oils and um, along with all my additives so I'm going to go ahead and give them a little bit of a buzz to get them mixed up a little bit.
Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This is Meredith with MK Lone Star Handcrafted. And today we are going to unmold the black raspberry vanilla. I've already taken one out. And they do have some soda ash on them, but that's okay. I can just steam them off. So let's get the rest of these out of here and see how they look. the sides of that one and the bottom and the top another one lifted up go ahead and take it off there's this one side of it this is it Good size bar. Ooh, good dimple in that one. There's the top of this one. I'm hoping after I steam them, the glitter will come back out. They smell so good. how this mold worked I damaged this one on the side when I was unmolding oh that one just pulled up a little bit on the bottom I have to fix that And this one got a little bit damaged also taking it out of the mold when I was taking off the mold. You know, I have to learn how to take off a new mold is always a challenge. But I know now, so hopefully next time I won't have the issues. I do like how these turned out, though I think I kind of missed the satisfaction of the cut and cutting them. They all kind of seem to look a little bit about the same. This one has more pink on the bottom. I was hoping that the what's looking brown would have been a purple, but you can't always have what you want. Come on, slide off. 
Here we go. And then I also had some that I poured into a Milky Way mold. This is one of them. And there's this one. And then this one. Let me get here. These guys are going to have to go out of the way. Let's get this rack on. There we go. And then I also have this loaf that we're going to cut. That's very pretty. It'd be interested in how everybody does their samples. Leave it in a comment how you do your samples. Do you do it in a slice like this, or do you cut a bar in? half or you know like take it and cut it in half down like that or how do you do it I'd be interested in knowing And that's the last two cuts that's the back piece and that piece so thank you for watching once again if you like what you saw please hit that uh, like button subscribe hit the notification bell so that you'll know each time I've uploaded a new video thank you and you have a blessed day